Let's return to the live cricket that we're following for you from the Wanderers Stadium. The home team, the Johannesburg, the Joburg Super Kings, currently on 29 runs for the loss of no wickets. Fafdi Plessy at the piece along with Ariza Hendricks. Uh, our reporter, Yululwe Koshe, is out there. Yululwe, you said that Fafdi Plessy, the former Proteus captain, had to step up to the plate. Well, he's given you two boundaries already. Well, Valen, that is the stuff of leadership. That is what you'd expect for the man that is supposed to steer the ship. Hopefully, he will then kick on for the home side and be able to get something with a bit of substance on the scoreboard for them. But as you know, it's still a long way to go, and a lot can quickly change in a game of cricket. But you spoke about things happening on the cricket pitch. I'm currently outside at the moment with a few people. I'm curious as to find out why they're not in the ground with the game having already started. Let me go straight to them, Valen. Thank you so much for your time. So first and foremost, I'm not happy with your punctuality. So what is the good reason that you have for not being there um, by the time that the game has started? I was there when the game started. So my job title is a South Club head coach. I'm here and with, uh, uh, I should say, a lot of thanks to the Joba Super Kings who've given an initiative back to the kids. So uh, they, I'm waiting for, uh, I'm actually waiting for kids to arrive from Orange Farm to bring them in to the stadium so that they can receive their t-shirts, hats and stuff. It's uh, an activation from Joburg Super Kings. So I'm waiting, the bus has just arrived. So I was on my way out to receive those kids to bring them in. That was my whole idea of how you got me in the van. So it's a good thing. So there's, uh, we given, each hub is given 37 kids to come into the stadium so that they can experience and have a great experience and stuff and witness what it's all about. And the two boys on your right, they from the Alex Hub. So they were going and they were looking for their coach to receive their t-shirts. And so, yeah, it's a good thing. Well, there's a saying that says everything happens for a reason. And this is proof over here. I'm glad you went <laughs> in at the time and we could find you out here. I just want to ask, you mentioned... Um, the involvement of the Joburg Super Kings getting involved with various parties and also being involved in the communities. How important is that in terms of gripping these young cricket-minded kids into the system and letting them see this game uh, firsthand and getting more inspiration to get straight into the system? So, so, so what I'll tell you is things like this, like the initiative which the Joburg Super Kings take to, to bring these kids on board from the hubs. They come out of the areas like I'm in charge of the South Hub. Orange Farm is far from here. These kids play, they train there. This for them is to show them their future. Listen, guys, this is the way forward. There's a structure involved and everything, and I work here to understand them as a South Africa head coach. And these kids, they love it to come here. If you give them an opportunity to get here, they will drop everything and come here. Their heroes are on the field. They're here to see their heroes and stuff. And it's a great initiative for them. And I'd like to thank the Joburg Super Kings and the staff at Wanderers, Journal of Writing the Works, who put this initiative, brought it on board, and getting the kids here on board. So you'll see they're all sitting in the sun zone at the Devonist Pavilion, having their flags, T-shirts, and they're going to be here the whole night. And it's a great initiative. Thank you, Ashraf. I hear you mentioning yeah. the kids. Let's not leave them out of this I conversation. <laughs> I'm going to go straight to the kids now on my right-hand side. Don't be shy, I'm going to come through. What's your name? My name is Yenet Mashawel. And who is your cricketing hero? Kakiso Rabada. Oh, Kakiso Rabada. Oh, are you, a, are you a fast bowler? Are you a batter? Are you an all-rounder? I was a fast bowler. Then I got an injury. Right? I went to bowl spin. Oh. So uh, since you've transitioned to, into the spinning, how different has it been for you? It's hard. It's hard for me now. All right, all right. Let me move on to your friend over here. Ronayam, so Nelungo Yike, what's your name? Sihle Makobani. Sihle, what is your position on the field? Are you a bowler? Are you a batter? What's your discipline? I'm an all-rounder, sir. Oh, nice. How did you come about getting into that all-round space? I know a lot of young kids, they pick up a ball and say, OK, I want to bowl, and they shy away from the bat. What made you believe that you can do both? Because, like, I feel like I... I I hold how, uh, how if I can to bat and uh, uh, how to pull spin, off spin. No, I can't both. Okay, okay, okay. And then, guys, who do you think, lastly, who do you guys think is going to win today between the Joburg Super Kings as well as the Pretoria Capitals? Joburg Super Kings. Joburg Super Kings. All right, I'm not going to ask any further questions. 
I think I've got my answer. Thank you very much, gentlemen, and good luck with your cricketing careers, right? Well, Valen, those were members of the Alex Hub, I heard from Ashraf, that were coming in, part of an initiative from Job, uh, Jobic Super Kings, getting a few kids from Orange Farm into the stadium. I hear a lot of kids being able to, to get an opportunity to come into the stadium and watch these games and get inspired. It's just an initiative from this a union or franchise, getting the community involved. Um, and, and, and that's basically what we've got from outside the stadium at the moment. Can't wait to come back inside the stadium to see if Fab Duplessis is still carrying the weight like you said it was earlier on. Really. Thank you very much, Ululwe. You were speaking about those children getting inspiration, and uh, certainly when they walk into the Wanderers, they are going to get that inspiration from the first year's uh, captain. He's been hitting boundaries all over the place. Uh, now on five, uh, he's, uh, his stand is 26 runs from just 14 balls. We'll be following that again for you, and a lot more sports in the next hour. Stephen and Tim Bikile.